We're back. Estamos de volta. And this time we're here with a series all about air travel. Today you'll learn all about planes, tickets, airports, starting right from booking your flight, getting to the airport, having to navigate the airport. Everything from before to after your trip. So maybe you have plans to travel to Portugal or to travel from Portugal in the near future. Perhaps you're even viewing these videos on a plane right now. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to be following the adventures of an elderly couple who are planning a vacation. What are their names? Teresa and Fernando. And this couple doesn't travel very often, so they're a little bit overwhelmed about booking the flight, getting to the airport. Sometimes they will be challenging to understand, especially if you're a beginner. Mm -hmm. But we've put subtitles so you can follow along. And then after each clip, join us right back here at Practice Portuguese Headquarters, where we'll go over useful vocabulary and expressions about this part of the journey. So first we start with Teresa and Fernando at home on their sofa. They're trying to choose their destination. Let's dive into it. Credo, as minhas costas. Tá úmido hoje? Tá, tá. isto? Coisas? Tudo eriçado. Ai, tenho que fazer sopa. Oh, oh Teresa. Estava aqui no Facebook da TAP e vi que eles têm umas promoções bem boas. Ah, é? É. E se nós fizéssemos uma viagem, hein? Nunca andámos de avião. E agora que ganhámos o terceiro prémio da lotaria, até estamos mais desafogados. Podíamos ir, sei lá, para o ano ou assim. Ai, para o ano. Tu queres ir para o ano? Quer dizer, nós estamos reformados. Vamos é já. Que sítios é que tu gostavas de ir-me? Diz-me que eu adorava, adorava, adorava. Oh filha, um sítio perto. Um sítio baratuxo só pela experiência de andar de avião. Ai... Então dá cá, dá cá que eu vejo que não percebes nada dessas coisas. Vê lá aí no Facebook. Ora, deixa me ir ao, ao site. Vê lá aí. Olha, olha esta opção. O que é que tu achas? Ai, ver, adoro. Espera aí. Deixa eu ver. Põe-me a maior. Ai, não sei. Porto Alegre. Ah, então isso não será descabido, Porto Alegre? Então, mas tu não querias andar de avião? Olha, olha. Está ótima a promoção. Até temos direito a, a encher o bucho, a refeição. A tua irmã não está sempre a dizer que Porto Alegre é lindo. Está, senhora. Está, senhora. Não é? Então pronto, não vamos para novos e o dinheiro e... é para se gastar, homem. É para se gastar. E realmente até tem refeição. É estranho, mas até tem refeição. Marca, marca. Marca! Está marcado. Vamos ser extravagantes e vamos mostrar à vizinha que também somos chiques. Somos chiques, Alzira! Somos chiques! A lot of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh, that was challenging. They started out by booking a flight on a plane. So how would you say plane? O avião. O avião. Avião. One of those nasal sounds, right? Avião. Avião. And book would be marcar or... Reservar. You wouldn't say that in English? R reserve a flight? Yeah, both of these words are what you call cognates because they sound very similar to words in other languages, in this case English. To mark is marcar. Marcar. Right? And then to reserve is reservar. Reservar. Or comprar. To buy. You can use all of these with voo, flight, or um bilhete, a ticket. Eu vou comprar dois bilhetes. And they are going to be going on an avião as part of their viagem. Eles vão fazer uma viagem. But it's not viagem, right? No. That M, it's not like in English where you close your lips at the end. You don't close them, so it's a viagem. So right. it's also a nasal sound. Okay. Every time a word ends with M. Another thing that happens when words end in M is that when they become plural, when you have more than one of them, you cut off the M and then it becomes NS. As viagens. 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 Pretty straightforward so far. And speaking of straightforward, you have ah. a direct flight or a flight with connections. How would you say that? How would you say first if your flight is direct? What would you think? Conexões? No. That's actually Brazilian Portuguese. In... Uh, we don't want Brazilian Portuguese today. <laughs> in European Portuguese, we say ligações. So if you want a direct flight, um voo direto, you want to make sure there are no ligações, no stops okay. on the way. There are also other words that will be useful, like ida, 
e volta. Forth and back. Yeah, right? because ida is where you're going, the ida, and the volta ticket is the return ticket. Right, so if it's just the ida, then it's so only. So, so ida. Ida. Yeah, you'll see that on websites if you're in the Portuguese version of an airline website. Okay. You'll see ida e volta or just. So either. If you happen to be at a counter where you're buying the ticket, you could ask quanto custa um bilhete de ida e volta, right? Sim. Quanto custa um bilhete de ida e volta? Quanto custa? How much money? Money, money. How much money. does it cost? Ah, and one more important thing when you're booking your flight hmm. is if there's a meal included or not. Ah, refeição. Yeah, usually you'll get a meal if it's a long haul flight. You should check that when you're buying your ticket if there's a refeição. Refeição. Yeah. Okay, there's that nasal sound again, huh? Yeah, that A O with a till. Ow. 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 Refeição. Refeição. So that's it for booking a flight. And join us in the next section where we will talk about being at the airport. This couple is gonna leave their bubble and go to an airport. Don't spoil it. Oh.